Uh, we are back on WAP 9 News at 9. Jim Fleshman and Jennifer Shield from the Baton Rouge Zoo, Zoo Director, Education Curator. And this is Ella Ray. Yes. Ella Ray is a? Speckled king snake. These guys are native right around here. In fact, they're fairly common, and they're one of our snakes that is one of the last to go into hibernation and one of the first to come out of hibernation. So in so. hibernation when? Um, I've actually seen them active on Christmas Day. <laughs> so That's when they go I, in? It all depends on the weather. And what, but when the temperature gets low enough, then they go into hibernating. hibernation, and then they're come one out. of the first February, ones to March, come out. April? Um, generally, it's going to be somewhere between November and January, again, depending on the weather. And then they'll be coming out again in a, a month or two after that, okay. again, once it's warm enough. Right. But because of the black coloration, they can be active in lower temperatures because they can sun themselves to warm up. This is a gorgeous snake. Now, the king snake we played with growing up at the beach was uh, large, and, and I remember to this day, Mom, like, put that snake down and go find your father. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Dad was on the fishing pier all the time. We were having to, he babysat us on the pier. So, now what does this one eat? Uh, she eats mice okay. at the zoo. Um, and in the wild, she would eat mice, but she would also eat baby rats. She was too um, small to eat a mouse. It's surprising. They can open their mouth three to five times the size of their head. Holy so she cow. could swallow something that large. And and she, she she actually eats several at a time, you but she only eats every two weeks. Is this Diane so. Deaton here? <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Well, and uh, one of the things is they have to go through a hibernation in order to reproduce. So okay. they have to have that dormant period. And so it's important that they go through that cold piece because if you keep them in a constant environment, then they won't reproduce. Well, we see them slithering across the ground. How do they motivate? They have no legs. How right. does a snake move? So they use muscle power, their ribs, and the scales on the belly. Okay. It's kind of like a tread on a tire. Um, there's three different kinds of snake movement. There's serpentine, which is mm -hmm. serpent serpentine. Mm -hmm. Then there's what's called concertina, which is sort of bunching up and spreading out. And then the third one is sidewinding. Very few snakes do sidewinding, the sidewinder in uh, southern, Before we get to Jim and uh, some southwestern zoo US. information, uh, th this is uh, how old and where did you get it? And she is approximately 17 years old. Um, Generally, life expectancy on them is 17 years. Um, so she is a very elderly snake. We don't know her exact age. Uh, she actually showed up on zoo grounds, and we do have a lot of native animals on zoo grounds. Uh, she showed up outside of the aquarium. The aquarium keepers uh, safely captured her, moved her out into the woods. The next day, she was back in the same spot. So they picked her up, and they moved her again further away. Two just, days later, she was in the same spot. <laughs> she knew where she wanted so to be. So they picked her up and they moved her clear across the zoo. Four days later, she showed up inside of the aquarium and they realized she had probably been somebody's pet snake that they had oh let go. And she was trying to tell us something. She wanted to live with us. <laughs> and so they brought her into quarantine. And once she cleared quarantine, she became an ambassador animal. What's going on with the zoo? Uh, we are we open on the new entrance yet? Is the train working? All of that? We, we <laughs> keep getting closer and closer. This is sort of one of those projects where you go, there's something else coming up. Um, we are getting closer. We do have an event coming up tomorrow. It's Red, White, and Zoo. Uh, so celebrating the 4th, and we've got all kinds of enrichments and keeper chats that are going to happen. So we're excited about that. But I will tell you that the train has gone around the tracks at least once. That way the, the, the subcontractor can gauge the tracks, and so they make little adjustments as they go along. So if we come out to Red, White, and Zoo tomorrow, we enter on Thomas Road? You still enter on Thomas Road, but the gift shop is at the, at the is inside Greenwood Park. So the gift shop is open uh, in the new entrance, and the um, classrooms are open for camp in the new entrance, but Great. the only thing that hasn't opened up is the admissions yet. All right, and we're getting Jim. closer and closer. Jim and Jennifer, we'll see you out at the zoo live for the first day of train operation. Yeah. That's right. All right, <laughs> you guys have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for coming out. Thanks Tell for Tell your wife us. hello, she joined us in the green she room. She did, she did. Appreciate it. Her name? Susan. All right, Susan, thank you for joining us. And Ella Ray. That's right. We'll be back.